So this is a game that requires throwing, catching and assisting and hindering that process, which requires two to three people. I'm doing this video on my own, so please bear with me. I'm Rob from JTLPodcast.com and I'm going to show you how to play Hop. This is a game for three to six players, plays in about 30 minutes, is designed by Marie Cardoir and Ludovic Montblanc and is published by Funforge. In Hop, you'll travel the sky and cross the path of the legendary Hippocorns. Climb cloud to cloud in order to be the first to reach the top of the sky. Complete and assist in challenges to gain points to win the game. To set up, assemble the board, put the cards randomly face down and the birds either side up around the board. Shuffle the dare cards. Give each player a plaque, mini, five blooms and a bid token. Players put their character on level 1 of the board. Choose a random start player. The game suggests picking the youngest. Give them the rainbow. They are going to be the hurler. That player then chooses another player to be the skewerer and they will put their finger in the air with their elbow on the table. The hurler draws a dare card and reads aloud. For example, if you draw Blackbeard, the thrower must cover one eye. If the dare is not possible or just awkward based on your current location, just discard it and draw a new one. If the deer asks for an assister or a turbulator, the hurler picks who that might be. The assister will try and help the hurler and or skewerer. For example, the take my hand card requires that the assister grabs the thrower's wrist and throws the rainbow. The turbulator will try and hinder the thrower and skewerer. For example, the ostrich feather sees the turbulator wave their hand in front of the thrower's eyes. Anyone not involved in the thrower is going to bet on whether it will be successful using their cloud tokens. Bets are kept hidden. A happy cloud is betting on a success, an unhappy cloud is betting on failure. If no players are involved in the throw, no one bets. The hurler throws the rainbow from below the level of the table, giving the skewer a chance to catch it. The skewer can lift their arm off the table once the rainbow is in the air, but they must use their index finger to catch the rainbow. If the dare is complete and the catch is successful, it is a success. The hurler moves one space on the board. The skewer and assister gain a random cloud token and keep it face down. Inactive players that bet on a success gain a dove. If they bet on a fail, they gain a crow. If a throw failed, the hurler loses a balloon and the turbulator, if there was one, gains a random cloud. Inactive players that bet on a success gain a crow. If they bet on fail, they gain a dove. If a player ever gets three doves, they return the dove tokens immediately and move one space on the board. If you get three crows, return all crow tokens and lose a balloon. And then pass the rainbow to the left. At the end of a turn when a player gets to level 7 or a player loses their last balloon, the game ends. If a player lost their last balloon, remove their figure from the board. Add points collected on cloud tokens plus points equal to the level of the cloud your mini is on. Most points wins. The tiebreaker goes to the player highest on the board. And that's Hop, a dexterity party game. Please like this video if you found it useful, share it to let others know about it and subscribe to the channel for more how to play videos as well as other board game related content. You can find me on Twitter at JTR Podcast or find my blog and podcast at JTRPodcast.com. I've been Rob aka Jester the Rogue, until next time, keep on tossing.